Hello friends, very good morning to all of you. So in this session, we'll talk about uh, certificate management and uh, types of certificate. So we basically completed authentication policy building on PF19. Now we are jumping to PF20 and yeah, in this uh, uh, session, we can discuss about the encryption part also, right? Uh, what is encryption? What is encoding? What is symmetric encryption? What is asymmetric? Because you need to know this like uh, and because it, it is required, right? To understand the flow uh, 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 between request and response, right? So we need to understand how it, we are going to use a certificate to sign the response and other things, right? And how we can encrypt the response. So for that, we just need to understand. So let's quickly uh, discuss on this and then we can talk on next topic. Yeah, so let's begin. Okay, so let's quickly discuss on certificate management and types of certificate. So this section we are going to cover, uh, we are going to take, uh, I think four sessions. So this session we are going to talk about certificate, digital certificate, uh, CIA trial, and different types of digital certificate. So let's quickly begin. So first let's uh, talk on certificate. Let me mention here as a certificate. Okay, so you all know about certificate, right? Like what exactly is certificate? So maybe if you are participating in any competition in a school level, in a college, in school, or maybe any other, uh, like uh, in the, in your like uh, professional experience, you receive some kind of certificate as an e-certificate or like a hard, uh, hard copy certificate, uh, anything like that. Uh, so what exactly it's meaning of that? So if by the definition, if we can see, it's a document serving as evidence or as written testimony, as of status, qualifications, privileges or the truth of something. That means it is basically nothing but a, a evidence. Like for example, if you are a software engineer, you're working in some project. So once you complete that, in some time you receive a kind of appreciation certificate from the client or the customer or maybe from your manager side. So what is exactly this? It's just basically act as an evidence that you perform uh, that work, you completed and you have achieved something with that. So that's a kind of certificate meaning. Now how certificate is going to play a role in our case? Let's try to understand. So you have a web app and you have a PingFed, right? So if you remember that uh, PingFed acting as an identity provider, you have the web app. So if you remember that in the case of SAML, we discussed that user wants to access an application, then application will initiate a SAML request and back to PingFed, right? PingFed then uh, verifies the user and then generate a SAML token and send to the application. Then application will consume the token and then user will authorize to access something, some whatever the role user have. So here we are just passing some message from one place to another. So application sending the SAML authentication request, I'll say a message, and I PingFed IDP is sending a SAML response. So this is a kind of message. So when we are sending uh, information, this, trans this communication is going through browser also, right? I'm not displaying the browser, but yeah, transition is going via browser. So in this communication, in this, uh, basically what happening, we are sending some information from one place to another. So now we need to think about security that my message should be uh, secure enough so that in the middle, someone can't jump and take that message and alter that. That means if I'm passing some A plus B message, so it can't be modified to A plus B plus C. Otherwise this communication will bridge. Correct. So that security and surety, we need to make that while uh, transferring the message from one place to another in case of application to PingFit or PingFit to uh, application. Based on what exactly message we are sending, we need to ensure that it, uh, the message should be secure. So th now this certificate is really playing a very important role here. So this certificate is giving you an that uh, the message, whatever you are sending, it's secure and it is not going to, uh, that man in the middle will not able to edit or make some change there. So it's very secure and uh, whatever you are sending, it's just going to receive uh, to PingFed uh, in the similar fashion and then Ping, uh, PingFed basically trusts that communication and verifies the user and then going to send the response. So the certificate is going to play a role in ensuring the security of the message here. Let's see how it is doing. Uh, maybe we need to uh, see in, in coming session, but for now, just try to understand the certificate is playing a role here. And without certificate, you, you can't imagine for security. If, whether I talk about network security, application security, server security, certificate is really playing a very important role uh, in everywhere. That's where cryptography, public key infrastructure, all things are coming in, a, in, the, in the role, correct? So yeah, uh, this is about that. Now let's discuss about CIA triad. What is this CIA triad? 
so c means confidentiality what confidentiality basically definition is it refers to protecting information from unauthorized access that's that means your information is confidential it should not be like uh, uh, like any unauthorized user can't access that so it has a meaning of confidentiality it refers to protecting information from unauthorized access correct then you have the integrity integrity means i for integrity means it the information should be uh, not altered or modified by any unauthorized user as i told in this case correct that i am passing some message from here to here from this to place this place and from this place to this place the message should not be altered or modified so integrity should be maintained that means the message whatever i am sending it should be same it should not be modified or altered that's where integrity playing a role then you have the a for availability availability means that uh, data are accessible when you need them for example if i want to do perform some action and for that i need some data so data set, uh, data needs to be available for me so i can perform that action that's a simple meaning of availability so that's the definition of cia right now quickly jump on digital certificate and types of certificate types of digital certificate we can talk so let me quickly erase this okay so digital certificate let's quickly discuss on digital certificate then we can talk about the type of digital certificate so what is digital certificate so it's known as identity certificate or public key certificate or you can say it's a form of electronic password using the public key infrastructure that allows individuals and organization to exchange data over the internet in a secure manner that means right now we are just uh, we are in some network you are right now we are connected to the internet so we are in some network and we are just performing some actions we are just going to some website uh, making some uh, exchanging some data taking some data into some uh, from some website adding some data in there right so we are just doing like uh, exchanging some data like uh, uh, taking some data from the internet or loading some data to the internet that means adding something to the data to the internet So, so that means it's a kind of exchange data so by using this digital certificate only we are doing this in a secure manner like maybe organization or like the individuals or anyone right who is working on this internet uh, so exchanging data in a secure manner by the help of this digital certificate only and what is this digital certificate is nothing but a uh, like a identity certificate or public key certificate or you can say the electronic password uh, created using the pki public key infrastructure So that's a kind of digital use of digital certificate now let's understand what are the different types of digital certificate we have so in the first type it's we have in the list is tls ssl what this tls ssl certificate is doing it basically just ensuring or just giving a secure secure uh, security uh, when you are accessing an application uh, like in the browser that means it's basically secure the communication between the web server and the browser that means right now i am in the browser in the google chrome browser and i'm accessing this application onlineboard.eu so if i can just open this this is connection is secure and the certificate is valid so this certificate is the tls ssl certificate which basically securing the communication between the web server where this application is running that is onlineboard.eu and this browser so this is the, there is two party browser and the web server where application is running so this certificate is playing a role in making this communication secure correct so what is happening here like uh, uh, by the definition it says that it's using to secure communication between the computer and the server and it is hosted by the server and when the client computer seeks to access the server the server will present this digital certificate to prove that it is authentic and the desired destination correct and you can see that uh, the https like if you can just see this in uh, let me close this this is basically a tls ssl certificate we can talk more about uh, in next sessions but yeah this is a, a, a tls or ssl certificate you can say and it's a ca signed certificate it's in, uh, signed by let's encrypt which uh, which is nothing but a ca authority and here you can see the details and all of the certificate part let me close this if you can see this in this uh, browser you have uh, in this url you have https in the beginning that means this website is a secure 
this indicates the presence of a digital certificate and it's secure right so this is a simple meaning maybe a few of you already know about this digital SSL certificate also but yeah just it's a basic uh, thing to understand okay and maybe you have already used uh, different you are just using uh, different websites on a daily basis maybe some of are secure some of not, are not secure maybe you can check it this way and you understand what is the use of the TLS or SSL certificate in the second certificate in the list we have the client certificates what is client certificate and where we are using so client certificate is nothing but a form of digital ID that can identify one machine to another or a one specific user to the another user so where we can see this use case the best use case here in the mail uh, so for, for example if you're working in an organization and you're just uh, sending uh, different different mails uh, you're basically sending a mail to your colleague or to your to, to different teams so you're just uh, you are a user and then you're sending some message to the another user so it's basically client certificate is playing a role in in, sec in securing that those messages that's why it's uh, called as a the digital id that identify one machine to another or a specific user to the another user because i am sending some mail to my team member so this certificate is basically giving an authenticity that okay this message is secure and it has been sent from like that person so the another person is like okay ensure that okay that's fine then i can open and i can read that message whatever it's came so it's just a specific use case in the case of email and we have some uh, like protocol here as a s by mime that is uh, let me mention here also s by mime s is for security secure and M is basically like multi-purpose internet mail extension this is one of the protocol uh, yeah uh, where we are using this thing mail communication okay so this is a use like of client certificate now in the third list we have code signing certificate code signing certificate where we are going to use this so for an example you you are a software developer you develop some software and now you're going to publish that correct so the publisher or software uh, of software will sign it with this code signing certificate to validate its authenticity to users downloading it so in case like if i'm just downloading some software from the original website then i'm just uh, 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 fine okay like okay the software is uh, authentic i can download and i can do the work but if i'm just trying to download some software from any third party website then this certificate is ba basically playing a role uh, uh, it's very beneficial which basically tells a user that okay this software is valid and authentic and you can use for the purpose whatever you have so that's where the code signing certificate is coming so this is about this session now let's quickly jump to the next session where we are going to talk about csign and self-signed certificate okay yeah thank you